Hi. How are you? Good. Long time no see. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what, what's what been the holdup? Why haven't we been able to make some videos? Well, uh, I had some other projects that I wanted to get out of the way so I could get back on this. I hope that our followers aren't too disappointed, but uh, we're back on it now and we're going to stay on it. Nice. Cool. So... I know, I know you have, you had some projects, but I do know that you have been working on this a little bit now. So what have you done since I last was here? Okay. Hello. Uh, since then, uh, I installed the oil cooler. Uh, the two lines run down to the side of the engine block. The oil is pumped through there where it's cooled and then it goes back into the engine. And it actually, you can see where the door is closed. The air going through here goes through the oil cooler. So it goes through the door, the little hole in the door, and then tunnel, the tunnel. And goes into there, yeah. and then comes down to this. This. Well, actually, it'll. The way the body's shaped, it comes down. Or actually, come out over the top. Okay. Cool. All right. What else? Well, I installed the heater air conditioning unit. This. Uh, fit down inside the side pod. All the hoses are run to it and back to the radiator and to the air conditioning compressor. It's pretty much ready to go. Okay, so you were talking about doing something to make it closer to the original. Yeah, uh, well, I had to put this spacer under here to give me room for the air conditioning unit. And I noticed some pictures that I've seen of the original car. It had a piece like that, and they had a piece like this directing the air from the the tunnel through the radiator. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, you're getting everything down to like small details to get it to the original things that people probably wouldn't even like recognize. Probably not. Right. So. What was the one that was up here? Okay, uh, this, I also made a mold and made the duct work for the air to come through the door into the radiator and air conditioning. That's so cool that you made the mold for that. How, that's really cool. How do you know how to make molds? Like, that's just insane. <laughs> Well, made a lot of mistakes in the past. I learned. <laughs> well, you know, a, a mistake isn't a failure. But what do you mean you made mistakes? Well, things that I've done and redone to make better. Nice. I mean, that's how you get things perfect. What is this? What are we looking at here? This is one of the molds for the ductwork that goes inside the door. Okay. Uh, most molds are female molds, but because I wanted this to be smooth on the inside, it's actually a male mold. There are male and female molds? Yeah. <laughs> the glass is laid up on the outside of this one so that the inside is smooth. I said most molds, like, say, you know, the ones for the body, uh -huh. uh, are laid up on the inside of a mold so that the outside comes out smooth. Okay. But this, because we wanted the airflow to be unobstructed, I did it the opposite way. Huh. Are you, how many people do it like that? Well, it all depends on the circumstance. Okay. Hmm. This had to be smooth on the inside, where the body molds, you want smooth on the outside. Right makes this piece right here 
But again, because I wanted it to be smooth on the inside, we laid up glass around the outside of that. Okay. Nice. Huh. Well, that's pretty interesting. I didn't know the difference between molds. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. So that is a male mold. Okay. Huh. So, speaking of molds, I've heard some rumors about the Grand Sport. I think we need to set those straight because I think a lot of people believe those. Where did the original molds for your D&D Grand Sport Corvettes come from? Because there's some rumors going out there that somebody had an original Grand Sport that you pulled molds off of. Okay, that was, uh, what I read was people said that Bill Adams, who was a friend of mine that was an engineer for uh, General Motors, was working at General Motors at the time that the Grand Sports were built. Uh, he had a little bit to do with that. And people think Bill Adams had a Grand Sport brought it to me to have it restored, and while I had it, I pulled molds off of it. So, that's not true, is it? No, that's not true. Uh, Dante Lombardi and I took a 64 Corvette coupe and modified it by using pictures to look like a Grand Sport. Okay. And after that was done, we pulled molds off of it, and that's where our molds for the Grand Sport came from. And that's where a lot of companies' Grand Sports came from, <laughs> because I believe every company out there building a Grand Sport pulled molds off of one of mine, no. other than Mid-America, who had their own designs. Right. Uh, that includes Mongoose Motorsport. <laughs> Duntov Autos, Duntov Motor Works, or whatever they were called, and uh, Superformance. All of their bodies came from a D and D. Are you allowed to say any of this? I don't care. Okay, <laughs> I know it's true. <laughs> well, I mean, it's true. I should be able to say it. And there's probably a couple other companies out there that have done that. So, I can't believe, so you, the molds that you pulled off of that car were not even to a Grand Sport. How in the world did you get them so perfect? Because like, they say that yours are the closest to the originals. We, like, do you know how much, like, craftsmanship and attention to detail, like, I mean, that takes a lot of hard work. Your cars have been, like, you had a car that you built for Dennis Clark in the museum, the Corvette Museum, Right, right. Yeah, it was featured in there. Yes. Luckily, he got his car out before the, the, the sinkhole. Was it a sinkhole? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his, his car wasn't on right. display where the sinkhole was. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, to have your car, a car that you built, put in a Corvette museum, that's amazing. That's a true honor. Yeah, that, that was a very nice car. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, All of the cars that you've done are beautiful. And for you to get such recognition, you know, I mean, it, it's just incredible. So how, how many cars do you think, your very first one that you built, the one that you, you pulled the molds off, the very first one, when you put it together, was it like, okay, this needs this and this, did yeah, you well, modify? The first set of molds, uh, they were okay. We built a few bodies, but, uh, almost immediately, we were refining it to make the molds better, make make the car closer to what the original was. So it's actually our second set of molds that uh, basically all the cars out there were built from. So, I know a company that has your molds. Since then, all the cars have been the same. Do you think that if you were still building those cars that you would have improved certain things because he built them and just stuck with everything. Well, our funds were limited. Uh, what we tried to do 
every time that we could find a new picture of a grand sport or even see an original, we would take notes and uh, sometimes go back and change our molds to make it more like the original. So it was a true labor of love then, because you really wanted those cars to be amazing. You wanted them to, it wasn't just some little hobby that you didn't care about because right. taking notes and trying to change things, that's, you know, sometimes people think, okay, yep, this is good enough. I'm not going to do anything to it. Well, we definitely strive to duplicate the grand sport as close as we could. Yeah. Okay. How do you think that the rumors got started about Bill Adams having an original and you pulling the molds? Was it because they were just so good that everybody thought? You know, I, I really don't know. I guess people just had to explain it, you know, the best way that they could. Because, you know, obviously nobody had proof that that was true. Right. Uh, Bill Adams, again, you know, was working at General Motors when the Grand Sports were built. Uh, it, Bill Adams also, uh, when I met him, he was working for Altair Engineering. And he asked me to build a Grand Sport for him, which I did. And uh, after he got it, he called me up one day. And he says, the chassis is not bad, but I can make it better. Okay. He said, uh, you take this chassis back, build a new one from... You know, my drawings, uh, I'll do all the engineering for free for you. Wow. Wait, who was that again? Bill Adam. He's an engineer at uh, Altair Engineering. Okay, okay. Okay. So, Bill Adams played a part in... Yeah, he basically made our cars handle as well as they do. Nice. Huh. That's pretty interesting, and too. And... Mongoose is still using the same jig fixture that was built off of Adam's drawings. And they're still one of the best handling cars out there. Yeah. Huh. All right, well, since we're going into modifying, you know, you creating and then improving from here, is there anything you'd improve on this car or is everything perfect because you've been working on it for so long? Well, compared to the original car, this is going to be a street car, so it's got heater, air conditioning. Uh, it's going to be more drivable for the street. Uh, no, I mean, I'm trying to stay uh, as true as I can to the original car, but I'm also trying to make it streetable. Okay, so... so I'm, I guess what I'm getting at is, you know, because you put all that hard work into the Grand Sports, did it make you learn how to do things to stay with the original to where you wouldn't have to modify in the future? Do you think that taught you how to do that? Or, like the GTPs, was there anything that you were going to change with those? Because you built five of those, you know, from the first one. Oh, the Corvette GTP? Yeah, yes, sorry. Yep, the Corvette GTP. Okay, that was a combination of a fiberglass center section for the monocoque and a tubing for the suspension mounting points. On this car, I did it all in carbon fiber. Okay, so then, so you learned by doing the Corvette right. GTPs. made it so if there's a problem with the fuel cells, they easily be dropped out of the bottom of the car, which okay. I didn't have on the Corvettes. Okay. So then, so yeah, so basically your years of experience and with work with other cars has gotten it to where you, this car is going to be perfect in your mind. 
Well, it's going to be as good as I can make it. We won't okay. say perfect. Okay. <laughs> I know you have a problem with perfect and <laughs> godlike. <laughs> There's nothing perfect. But. Right. But, okay. Um. The, the original car did not have uh, a deck lid that lifted up and was hinged, and it didn't have a rear window. Oh, okay. Uh, so these are custom, custom, customized to your preference then? This is something I wanted to do to make it look more like a street car. Okay. Also... Show off the big engine? Show, yeah, show off the engine compartment. Okay. Yeah. Well, I definitely like the, the rear window. I think that's really cool. Not the rear window, but the like where you can see the engine. I think that that's very sporty. Yeah. It's nice. I mean, it's it's probably how they would have. Yeah. Yeah. If they were building a streetcar. Yes. I believe that's what they would have done. Yeah, because you want to show off for a streetcar, right? Right. The new Corvette, the C8s. That's how they are. Oh. There's a window over top of the engine. A rear hatch that opens up so that you can see the engine. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. So, do you plan on building another one of these? <laughs> for myself? I don't know. Uh, I just got through building a body for a customer. Yeah? So you sell these? Yes. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so somebody could have this car, a body of it? Yeah, I would sell bodies. I don't know if I would want to build a whole car again. Hmm. Okay. So, she's looking good. Looks like it's about ready for paint. You got it all taped up and... I should be painting it in the next seven days. Okay. So... We'll, we'll video that. That's exciting. So people get to see the, the paint. How many colors are going on this? Three. Okay. What color? White and blue. True American. True American. Yes. Is this an American car? It was raced by an American team. Okay. <laughs> Join us next time to see the detail that goes into the painting. Make sure you like and subscribe to our videos. I don't think you guys realize this, but my dad's pretty private. So to actually get him to do this and answer questions, it's pretty incredible. Thank you.